Hey there, nerds. Jimmy Palmquist here, and I want to talk about the season finale of The Mandalorian. I got to be honest. I thought it was fantastic. Definitely moments of cheese, but I loved it. I do believe Lucasfilm, Dave Filoni, John Favreau shot themselves in the foot by the epic conclusion of season two. You are just never going to hit those heights again. That was unbelievable. The secrecy, all that, that just, wow, the reveal, amazing. So anything after that is going to feel like a letdown. But this was a solid ending. Where the story's going, I don't know. Supposedly, Moff Gideon is defeated, but we felt that way before. Uh, his revelation in wanting the clones and dealing with the clones and working the clones, very interesting. Uh, how that plays into Snoke and Emperor Palpatine, um, don't know. Don't know if they'll ever touch upon that. But we do know there's clones being made, and that's how Palpatine came back. So, touching on it a little bit. Um, I really love how now we have Din Grogu. I love how he officially adopted him. Uh, I just, I, I'm, I'm so curious to see what uh, eventually, hopefully, Grogu's Mandalorian uh, helmet and outfit is going to look like. Um, I just love how the Mandalorians, for most of my life, have just been these separate entities fighting, always fighting, 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 fighting. And there are moments in the Clone Wars cartoon and stuff like that where they came together to fight a common enemy. But this one, it really felt special that they all came together. They all fought their common enemy, which was Moff Gideon and the remnants of his empire. Um, I just thought this was fantastic. And the, the little tidbits we got along the way of Captain Pelion um, sort of alluding that Thrawn is on his way. Uh, whether it was true or not, don't know. But with the Ahsoka trailer, obviously it's coming. Um, but that Captain Pelion jumps from the pages of the Heir to the Empire to now be in uh, the, the TV show is fantastic. And then, of course, there's Hux, who we know young Hux, and now we get old Hux, who's directly from the books and his storylines. And to see him jump from the pages to live action is fantastic, too. Um, I just love seeing how Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau are pulling this universe together. That's nothing against the movies or anything else going on. Uh, I do feel, as a side note, the Star Wars fandom is uh, terribly toxic, and we need to get over that, cut it out. I just went back and rewatched The Book of Boba Fett. Um, it was awesome. Watching it all at once, yeah, it was super cheesy. Yeah, it was goofy, but it was awesome. We learned so much about Boba Fett. We learned so much about the Sand People. We learned a ton about Tatooine. Uh, just thoroughly enjoyable. But I really like what Dave Filoni and John Favreau are doing with this universe. I can't wait to see where this story continues. The only thing that makes me sad is that I know the more seasons and more episodes we get, the closer to the end we are. Uh, and I just want to go on forever. But I understand that can't happen. Yeah.